हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह एंड विद इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू इन इन द सेम स्टफ सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बिल्ड इन्वायरमेंट सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ऑल द थिंग्स लाइक वॉट आर जनरल डिस्क्रिप्शन वाई डो वी हैव दिस सोर्स कोड मैनेजमेंट ऑप्शन बिल्ड ट्रिगर्स बिल्ड इन्वायरमेंट्स एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बिल्ड सो वॉट डज इट मीन so uh, there is a request if you have yet not seen the previous videos then definitely you should check the playlist and you will be able to figure out that how things are going in sequence okay so build means whenever we are going to build any repository which is downloaded or any code which is downloaded from github so that's what we are going to see so execute windows batch command so jenkin is really flexible you can run windows command here you can run any shell command here you can invoke ant script so with ant as we were seeing here you can invoke any gradle script to build your uh, source code invoke top level maven targets so if you have like maven in your project so definitely you can invoke top level maven targets as well and then with timeout with timeout means that if your build is getting created and if that is going to take really long time for example you know that your build should be created within 1 and 1/2 minute so you can give a time out here maybe for 90 seconds maybe for 60 seconds or whatever so based on that particular your job will be out it means you will not be running with that job for long okay then after uh, set build status is pending on github on github commit so this particular gives a facility that for example any developer is going to commit anything new on github so if this particular status is set that in pending so a developer will be notified that do not add anything reason being the build is in progress and you need not to commit anything because it could be possible within the same branch a developer is going to commit something where from jenkin has already taken some pull so if like there are multiple pull request which are supposed to be done if developer commit something on the github then it could be possible that some uh, rep, some code is updated or some is pre old one so uh, we can set this particular to pending on github fine so these are build steps now post build action this is fantastic thing most so many people they ask interview question from this only okay so like aggregate downstream test result so whatever test results are going to come so these can be aggregated uh, within your maybe if you like once the job is done once the job is completed so after that you want to run some automated test suite on the top of it so you can do that okay archive the artifact when a build is completed so you can archive artifact for example if i click here files to archive for example i want to say star the asterisk dot jar or maybe asterisk dot war file so all the file extensions whatever you want to archive you can do it now if we go to advanced option so it it says exclude so what type of files you want to exclude you can exclude everything you can exclude a, uh, like nothing so do not fail build if archive returns nothing it means if there is nothing to archive then build should not get failed okay so you can explicitly mark your build successful only in condition that when there is nothing to archive okay archive artifacts only build successful so you can pick this option that once this particular all the steps so far says that your build is successful then only your build will be marked as successful otherwise it will be marked as failed okay then uh, fingerprint all are arch ar uh, like archived artifact fingerprint means whenever there will be a new jar file new tar file so that will be like copied with time stamp and every time like uh, jenkins server will be ensuring that all the artifacts are different or if these are same then this will print a message that these are not different okay use default exclude so default exclude means whatever options are there for default exclude so it will use that only like treat include and exclude patterns in as case sensitive for example if i type in here capital w or maybe capital r so now this will become case sensitive if a if a file is created in such pattern only then if this will be archived otherwise not it means case sensitive option is always always also given to me fine so i'm not going to use it options right away so we will discuss it later on now build other projects what does it mean if this project is built successful then for example as i told you that i have an another project here demo underscore uh, demo job 
so if this my first job is successful then i want to trigger demo job so as there is no such job so this is giving me error not a problem because we are like i'm just going to explain you all the options in detail here okay trigger only if build is stable so it means if this build gets filled then this will not be triggered okay so if you have some uh, like uh, rollback option so for example if this job gets failed then you can trigger another job to roll back that things should not go bad or maybe if you want that if this job is triggered then what you can do here is you will run another job which will trigger this job uh, like if the job is stable or successful then this job will be triggered and maybe you can run some automated test cases and all okay now trigger even if the build fails so whatsoever the condition remains or the condition is of this particular job this job will be triggered by default automatically without seeing any condition so whether it is stable whether it is unstable so this job is going to get triggered so that's the condition here like trigger if it is if the build fails if build fails then it will execute okay so what next view we have here is okay okay my bad okay publish j unit test result report so for example we have j unit for automation test uh, suit or maybe for some code uh, code quality test we have so like if we want to uh, like publish j, j unit report so when the things are completed so we can publish a test report here using j, j, j unit uh, plugin okay so after that like uh, record fingerprint of files to track uses so we can record fingerprint of all the files which are generated as artifact then git publisher so this is one option for example once push only if build succeeds so what you can do here is if build is successful then you can merge result into different branches you can force push the changes to any other branch you can add a tag to the particular git pull add force option to git push you can add new tag here whatever tag you want you can create like create new tag update new tag or like like uh, target remote name so whatever things you want it means you will be but in that case your jenkins user or whatever uh, permission you are going to give so in that particular condition your jenkins server or your jenkins user should have right access to the particular remote repository only in that case it, this works otherwise you will have permission denied error okay so that's the thing you can do it here okay so what next we have here so we have like email notification email notification means that all the recipients who are supposed to get notification so send email for every unstable build so if build is successful there is no need to send notification but if the build is not successful if the build gets failed then you can push a notification to the person then send separate email to uh, individuals who broke the build so who broke the build means whenever we configure git on our local system so over there there is an option that we configure git hyphen hyphen config hyphen hyphen user dot name and uh, email dot address fine there are two options so based on those email ids jenkins will pick the ids from there and obviously jenkins will trigger emails to only those candidates who recently committed their changes into this git uh, like git repository because of which this build got failed okay then after i'm not going to pick this one as well so uh, like yes uh, editable notification also we have like get editable like what uh, like default recipient who is going to be like from project like default template type of things you are going to get here default subject default content default like content type plain text html whatever you want you can pick it here fine so once again i'm not going to use it so this is these are just the option i want to demonstrate here that is the other thing which jenkins provides by default delete workspace once build is done so once the build is done you can delete the workspace it means the particular folder where uh, jenkins server pulled the code from your github so that's the thing which you can do like set build status on github committed commit deprecated so this particular option is committed like set global like github commit status universal so these are some status on github which you can set post this particular build is created or whatever actions you are going to perform it here fine so that is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you must have enjoyed it this uh, must have been informative for you guys thank you so very much happy learning from server again if you 
yet have not subscribed to my channel so please do like share and subscribe and post your questions into comment box i shall be happy to assist you on that thank you have a good time happy learning